young boy gets bond in Louisiana, about to be a released. California pulls up and says, hey, we're here for our pound of flesh. From the concrete jungle to that nightclub where you took off all of your clothes because it got too hot in there. Gorilla Edibles, eat your high. BBN Jack Frost Mike. What's up party people? I so Yeah So apparently N B A Young Boy has been given bond okay now okay so there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of like hoops we're gonna have to jump through to talk about this so one of the first things that i want to say just so we can be clear is as far as i know up until this video being made he is not free he is not free or released as far as this video is to be made as far as 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 far as we know and is is going on with the information in which we're going to be just dis, dis, uh discussing on this video we don't know if the nigga free so check this out this is for everybody that don't know nba young boy had a situation in louisiana he was shooting a music video upon shooting this music video the police pull up on him when the police pull up on him they see weapons they see guns they snatch up weapons snatch up guns snatch up young boy <laughs> yeah they was weapons probably the other than guns snatch up young boy snatch up you know drugs or whatever they snatched them up bring them down to the station young boy is fighting that case while young boy is fighting that case he gets out on bond as he out on bond he's in california while he's in california unbeknownst to him a warrant is out for his arrest for some weird ass reason we'll get to that in a second when the warrant is out for his arrest the police pull up on him they, they go for a short pursuit in the vehicle he then hops out of the vehicle and dips the police end up catching him after police catch him, there is a gun under the passenger side um, seat where he jumped from. So they're also at this time trying to say that that is his weapon. Boom. Now, for everybody that also doesn't know, young boy, I believe, is a felon. So he's not allowed to be around firearms. Now that we're all caught up, the judge in Louisiana basically granted them bond the reason being is they had no the reason being is nba young boy's attorney is busy arguing to the court that they had no reason to mess with their clients or their clients was doing the shooting a music video they're taking what their clients were doing and they're misrepresenting it in order to be able to charge his client in court today so what the lawyer is saying is we need to know why they stopped our client to begin with because they had no probable cause. The police cannot just unilaterally, at least they're not supposed to be able to, just unilaterally see somebody on the street doing a thing and be like, oh, time to go to jail. So uh, basically what they have to do is they have to get uh, the judge, uh, pardon me, the, you know, the prosecuting attorney has to get whoever the ci is whoever the, the the witness is the confidential informant or whoever it was to come to court the problem with that is first just so everybody that don't know first they said it was a old lady somebody from the old from the neighborhood called or something like that i forget if that was first or if the first thing they said was a police officer had got an information yeah i think they said the old lady was like looking out her window <laughs> It was like, that's them right there, officers. Or um, I believe the next thing they said was a police officer had a confidential informant. People started saying, yo, somebody in YB team is snitch. There wasn't no damn confidential informant. <laughs> well, I don't know if there is. Maybe there was. They have to show them to the judge at this point. Anyway, so since they weren't able to prosecute the attorney, the government, the state, wasn't able to show the judge any 
reason, I believe that's the reason in which why they were able to um, get the bond because this is going to get thrown out of court, in my opinion. Uh, they have to show why they stopped YB. If they didn't stop YB and his team from doing what they was doing for any actual reason, none of the evidence that they acquired can be used. So there's no charges. So that's what's going on. But still, YB is locked up. His, his release is actually on hold because... Yo, this is what I mean, man. This is this, this the type of stuff that don't make any sense is over here to me. Because when he got arrested for the warrant that they had for him, when he jumped out the vehicle and he ran, I think they called it um, Operation Never Free Again. I am not joking. That's really what the police, I think, called the operation. <laughs> there was a gun that was under his seat when... You know, the police checked the vehicle. I believe NBA Youngboy's attorney is going to say, my client jumped out the vehicle and ran. He don't know how that gun got under the seat. The driver was already in the vehicle. You got to ask that guy. My client got out and ran. He had no idea that there was any weapons inside of the gun, in, in part of me, any weapons inside of the vehicle. All he knew was that the police was after him because of previous situations that encounters that he's had with the police and because of just the climate in America especially when this situation had happened when this situation had transpired my client felt that his life might be in danger and he ran from the police not in an effort to escape any kind of criminal activity that he was involved in but simply because he thought that his life might be in danger because of so many black men that have been shot in the streets by the police unwarranted and then no prosecution this is exactly where i would have been going with it i would have talked like this for about five or six minutes <laughs> i just let you know where i'd be going with it if i was his attorney shout out to that shit though but anyway but you get my point so um i particularly think that um young boy is going to beat both of these cases um especially if the driver just says yo it was my shit it, it, everything's over we're not discussing this no more this isn't something that we're talking about if the driver just comes out and say he did it, this isn't something we're talking about. This is this is on to the next. Tell me where I'm wrong. Anyway, put it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, do you think that YB might be getting out for a different reason? Um, at this time, at this point, it just looks like they're grasping at straws. The whole reason why he's think about it. For the crime that he most likely is gonna be proven, that they're gonna have to throw all the evidence out. He had a warrant out for his arrest. And because when he got arrested, some other shit happened. Now he's also in trouble for something else. Like this is this. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Let me know what y'all guys think about this, by the way. I can't. Other than that, I can't tell you nothing. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Boomers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out.
damn, if I knew two days ago what I knew right now, I wouldn't even be in this shit.